Hello everyone, welcome to Sage for CPQ training program. Myself Amul Bernwal. I am going to discuss today what exactly the Sage for CPQ about. What is Sage for CPQ? Before proceeding with the Sage for CPQ, let me introduce uh, myself correctly. Who am I? Myself Amul Bernwal, having 11 years of experience in IT, in which I have 9 plus years of experience in Salesforce as a developer, programmer, as a consultant. I am also a Salesforce blogger, where you can uh, see my blog in amulhead.blogspot.com. I am also a 5 times Salesforce, certi Salesforce certified uh, uh, in Salesforce certification. And uh, I am also completed uh, a Trailhead Ranger rank recently. Now, today's topic is what is CPQ? C is stands for Configure Product and Bundle. P stands for Pricing and Discounting Capabilities. And Q is stands for Code Process Document and uh, uh, Post Sale Transactions like uh, Renewals uh, and etc. So let's uh, dig into more a uh, C part called configure product and bundle. So whenever any company uh, would like to generate a code from the Salesforce CPQ from the Salesforce system, they need to configure or as a admin, I have to configure the standalone product as well as the bundle a product which is being a bundled uh, within the Salesforce R. So configuring those burn, uh, product, configuring those uh, product and bundle all together, this comes under a C section called configure products and bundle. Let me showcase you uh, what exactly I have been telling here for configure product and, and bundle option. Okay. So click on this product uh, tab. Here you will see all this like a product are listed. This product is nothing but it's a standard object which is being currently used by Salesforce CPQ. I'm just opening one of my example for this particular uh, Salesforce uh, bundle product name called IT Professional Pack. This particular IT Professional Pack is nothing but it's a bundle product. So bundle product meaning is I have a several options, I have several uh, features associated with this uh, product altogether. So this IT professional pack cannot sold individually, but it comes with a multiple component in it. So what are the components? So let's suppose this particular IT professional pack, I have a computers, I have a networking, I have a training, I have a support. Right? So all this like a component which is a part of our IT professional pack is called a bundle product. So in Salesforce as you create a product you can create a normal product name called IT professional pack and then after creating this IT professional pack for adding option in it you must also create a, a product a name called a laser printer. I am just opening this laser printer now. So laser printer is also a product but it's a family of hardware. So you can add this like a uh, you can add or update this pick list values your hardware, software, your networking or any support or services you can add those family as a product a family in the pick list. So that is why this particular uh, section name called uh, a configure product and bundle come under the C section. Now moving to the another section name called uh, P is stand for pricing and discounting capabilities. Okay. Now uh, while generating this code all together you might have a price associated which might be uh, your list price or your block price or your uh, uh, discounting and discount schedule associated with every product and features okay so uh, let me open one of the uh, product and show you how this product price will work all together so i'm clicking on the it professional pack these are the list of options associated with this particular uh, 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 bundle and all this like a uh, 
uh, options is being added as a, a component to it <coughs> so let me open uh, this pricing uh, let me open one of the code that i have cre recently created so here you will see this particular code q001 has a product name and product code and descriptions quantity unit price as well as the discounting so this particular unit price or list price which is being coming from our uh, configuration that we did for this laser printer so let me open this uh, laser printer a uh, product how we have been getting this 100 as a unit list price for this particular a uh, product name called laser printer so the moment you will click on this uh, a laser printer so here in this particular a uh, product you have and you have a related list call uh, you have related list call option and under this option for just click on edit button you have a unit price name called hundred dollar so that is why this particular component is added in our IT professional pack that is why this particular unit price is coming as a hundred dollar for this particular uh, a bundle that we have been configuring in our code part Another one is for P is stand for pricing and discounting model. You have an additional discounting model also. I will later in this particular another training session program, I will demonstrate you how you can create a standalone product and how you can define a pricing for it and how you can define a bundle product and for those bundle product and how you can define uh, additional discounting or discount schedule. Let me open one of the example for this particular discounting schedule. Here you will see it is also named as called a tier pricing. So for this particular tier pricing, you can see this tier pricing will give you the detail of, okay, if the quantity is being choose from one to five, uh, this particular discount of 2% will be applicable and similarly so on. So if any product or if a product which is a quantity used between 10 to 20 this particular 3% of more discount will be applicable so all this like a discounting schedule or tier discounting whenever it goes apply or those definition got added on the product uh, pricing model those comes under uh, a P stand for pricing and discounting now um, I am going to just give you a more detail on Q process. Q is stand for code process and document generation. So document generation is nothing but it's a code template that you are defining and the code term associated with uh, uh, a particular code. After defining a code template uh, in your Salesforce, uh, your Salesforce has a, a code template, an object as a tab associated. Let me open one of the code template here. So this is the code template. The system have a one a pre and standard code template. This code template has uh, some uh, information related to what are the logo is currently being used, what is the watermark ID is being used, and uh, how this is be uh, this is particular a uh, code is utilized in our Salesforce CPQ code generation. Let me demonstrate you. I'm just moving to and saving this particular code, whatever I have added as a professional pack for generating a code. On a code detail page, you will see a button name called a generate document or preview document. I'm just going to click on a preview document button. This preview document button will list down all the code template that we have defined in our system so i have defined two template as of now one is the code template which is group by product family another one is a standard code template so i am choosing a standard code template and the paper size is the default i'm not going to change this particular default as a, a paper size just click on a preview button so this preview button will give you the pdf generated for those on code 
So here you can see I have a logo, I have my a quote header sections, I have my ship to detail and build to detail and what are the uh, product uh, uh, which is added for my IT professional as a bundle, what is exactly the pricing I have and then term and condition and everything. So this is this is part called and uh, part comes under a quote a Q stand for a quote preview or generation a purpose. Thank you guys. Hope you like my videos. Hope uh, I will be like uh, next time I have, I have been presenting to another uh, another CPQ training program uh, for uh, how to uh, create a product, how you can create a bundle, and then how you can create a, a, a price matrix and discounting schedule and everything. Hope to see you guys again. Thank you.